Hi everyone, this is Allison with Simplifying Sold, and I am back today with the third installment in my video series, What Does a TC Do? So if you've been following along, we've covered what does a TC do when they receive a new contract, what does a TC do after the inspection period or repairs are negotiated, and now we're getting close to the end of the transaction with what does a TC do before closing? So while there are some items um, between inspection negotiations being wrapped up and the closing, getting close to the closing date, there's usually a little bit of a slower period once those repairs are decided on um, before we get about a week or so out from closing. And during this time as a TC, we're mainly managing paperwork, making sure we've had everything submitted to the brokerage compliance. We're also just keeping on top of the title company, the lender, anything that may be needed from our client and making sure things are progressing as they should towards closing. So the timeline for what to do before closing is gonna be about seven to 10 days out. And one of the first things we're gonna do is start scheduling the closing. So to do this, I like to keep the title company and our client and the agent all on one email and just kind of asking everyone to confirm their availability. Um, this will also, if we weren't aware of any special circumstances for the closing, like a mobile notary, maybe on our side or another side, or maybe we have two sellers who due to work travel are gonna be in two different locations. Um, whatever it is, I find that by asking about seven to 10 days out, if there was anything we weren't aware of that we need to arrange, um, it gives us plenty of time to do that before the closing. Closing. If we're working with a buyer, we may also start scheduling a final walkthrough through this time. If the buyer and agent are interested in that, the TC can assist. Also, we're going to be just checking in with the lender, the title company, the other agent, anything that may be missing or we're waiting on, um, gathering those missing items, making sure everybody's on track. So maybe we were waiting on a survey that's going to come in right before closing or the appraisal or maybe the compliance of the brokerage just said, hey, we need one more initial on this document. Um, making sure we've reached out about those things and following up on them until the result is needed. On the compliance note, we're going to be double checking that the compliance has been approved. So we likely already got approval, but if um, depending on the process per brokerage or if there was anything missing, now's a great time that we want to double check and make sure the file has been approved um, so we can get that agent paid. And on that note, we're going to make sure we have the CDA and that it's been sent to the title company so there's no delays in the agent's payment. Also during this time, we're gonna collect any repair receipts that may be outstanding. So if any repairs were agreed upon during the transaction, we're going to get them from the applicable party and distribute them accordingly so that all parties know the agreed upon repairs were completed before closing. Now, once we have all these items set up, we're gonna make sure our client, buyer or seller, has all the closing details that they need. So from where to go for closing, what to bring, what time, and also think common questions like, when do I shut off or turn on the utilities? And when can I expect to get my keys? Or what do I need to forward my mail? Um, things like that, giving them any details they need so they're well aware of what they need to do before the closing. With the buyer, we're also gonna wanna make sure on either side that they've received their final documents from their lender, they know how much to bring to closing and how to provide those funds. And once we've sent all the details and um, we know that the lender and title company are all set up for closing, we're gonna sit back and wait for everyone's favorite words, closed and funded. I hope this answers some of your questions about what the TC does to start wrapping up a transaction and I hope you found it helpful. I will link my blog below where I go into a little bit more detail on these items and I hope you will like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks everyone, have a good day.